This is the big boy. This is the big boy right here. This is the LX. LS, or No, nah, no. Nah. I was having questions. You want to be in my YouTube video? <laughs> what are you doing? What, what are you I'm doing? reviewing these cars without driving them. Oh, yeah? Why not? Why, why don't you drive it? I'm Fallon, by the way. Colin. Nice to meet I you. I could drive it. I could drive it if I want to. Of course you could. But I was looking at what's on the showroom before I go ahead and do it. Let me ask you a question. You think that car is worth it or this one? Which one? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not there yet in life. But <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Cheers. Got you. I got it. I got you. I understand fully because, you know, there's tears to this. Plus, mm. you're young as hell. So, you know, why would you get that? That's like grandpa. Yeah, I'm not ready for all that yet. What about this? <laughs> when you said Colin? <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you, Colin. Likewise. If you know cars, there's a market for you in cars. I'm, I'm a woman in a man's business. Even better. I love Look it. Look how big you'll be. Leave a comment below. Because I've seen her face without the mask. She's pretty <laughs> as hell. So she needs to get on YouTube. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. No lie. We went and got it serviced here. Probably the best decision I made. Man, it was expensive, but well worth it. You want to maintain your cars and keep them right. This is the best thing we could have done, man. I feel good. I love the people here at this dealership. What's the name of this dealership? Lexus of Great Neck. Lexus of Great Neck. Lexus of Great Neck. You guys are great. Thank you so much. I'm happy. Now time to buy more scarce products that's going to cost me an arm and a leg now. Ha. And we in Roosevelt Field Mall. Let's see what this place got to offer. I've been trying to get a pair of Yeezys for the longest. In fact, what I should do is just... All the people with Yeezys, I should just roll up on them and be like, are, them re are those real? Are those real? Because I don't think a lot of those Yeezys are real. But speaking of scarcity, I've been trying to find a pair of Yeezys in my size. Size 13 and a half. Nobody ever has it. Let's see if they have it. Oh. These are the ones I wanted. Right here. You right here? These right here. They have these in a 12. These are nice too, but I seen someone with these in the bottom got mad nasty. It's not attractive. Somebody explain these to me. Oh, uh, subliminal, subliminal. You don't have a 13? Oh, here we go, yeah. Nah, only 13. How you know if this shit is real or fake? All right, well, most these, they come with the, there's a special seal inside of it. That's the only way you know it. That's really? If it's inside, you gotta look inside. This the boost. When you touch the boost, the boost oh, has a certain feel. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. The boost has a certain feel too. I'm just purchasing things left and right. Listen, I have this bad habit of shopping. Literally. Just shopping, 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 shopping. And J. Crew, the price is so low because the scarcity is not there. It's in abundance because of the quarantine. I'm just shopping. Well, I've only got up to a two back there. But I'm um, just if I can't stop thinking of oh wow. So it's eleven forty nine. Right. That's not bad. I haven't done it with these yet. I'm waiting for the labels to come in. When the labels come in, I'm just gonna replace it. It's gonna be real subtle. Nobody's gonna see anything and that just is what it is. So leave a comment below if you wanna buy some of my merch. Oh, speaking of, gotta get that shirt, fall 2020. Let's get seats. I'm probably not even gonna put my branding on it. Put your own branding. I might even make you brand your own stuff. I don't even trip off that. That'd be cool if you could put your own YouTube channel on the fall 2020 shirts that I got coming out. That's pretty cool. Wait till you see the texture of it. You're gonna really enjoy it. Oh, no, no. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to do about that little thing. Okay. In the car. This guy right here has to be the best halal food. They have this green sauce. This green sauce. Have you had the green sauce? You mind? Huh? 
Definitely not here. You had the green sauce before? No. You have to get the green sauce from this guy right here. Oh, you gonna try it? I got you right now, yeah. How'd you, wait, how'd you say you made the green sauce? It's cilantro. A lot of customers ask me about cilantro sauce. So we, we made it for them. That's it, it's easy. So he made the cilantro sauce because a lot of customers asked for cilantro and he did an exceptionally good job with this sauce. And you're gonna try it. Yeah, I got you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Man. Oh, the best. You got this is a staple. This guy right here is a staple in New York City, Queens. And only in Queens, you the best, the best. I've had it all from the from the halal guys to whoever the random person out in Manhattan. This guy beats them all. I'm not even gonna hold you. Night shift, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Mike. I'm coming for you, Lana. Wow, look at that. There you go. The best, the best, the best, the best, the best. Thank you so much, Thank brother. All right. That is correct. He is the best. He is the best. Look <laughs> at this. I'm at Oba. Oba. This is my go-to. This is where I go when I want to eat by myself. As you can see, I'm eating by myself. But on the topic of scarcity, the reason why this is so expensive, this meal right here is twenty dollars. There's other places you could go to that's five dollars like the halal guys you know they give you the platter of um of um of halal meat it's like five dollars six dollars they put a little white sauce on it but this is a little more expensive because of scarcity the reason why it's not that this plate is scarce is the taste of it is scarce it's not many people that can make it taste as good it's the lamb and the chicken mixed with the french fries and it's the same thing you can get at the halal cart the big difference is the taste Forget it, forget it. You're not gonna taste anything like this. This is why it's expensive. Scarcity, remember, word of the day, kids. Scarcity. Scarcity is the reason why prices are so high. Scarcity is the reason people wanna become popular. Scarcity. Diamonds, people, everything is perception also. Let me just scale it forward a little bit. If people perceive something to be scarce, they will pay more for it. The reality is we have everything we want. We just want to impress each other with the things that others can't get. And we are willing to pay for it. Not just with money, but with our time. What we spend our time on and what we reap rewards and benefits from in life. I'm aware of this. You should be aware of it too. Stop spending your money on foolishness. I stick to YouTube. It's like TV.